Okay, so I've been out of commission for the last couple days. I haven't been feeling good, but now I'm feeling good. It is Tuesday and I went to the thrift store and I found this here. It is a breast pump. So I don't know if anyone's ever thought about breast pumping their dog's milk. <laughs> I want to try this first before seeing if this works before going to milk replacer. I breastfed my kids for over two years each. So I'm a strong believer of natural, you know, mama's milk when possible. But if it's not possible, then, you know, obviously you do what you can. But if you can, and Misty has a bunch of milk right now, I think it would be very beneficial for the puppies to have mama's milk as much as possible especially during the transition or the weaning so uh, here it is it says that it's new and this is what it comes with it has these little covers this is the lines for to attach to these right here comes with a little pouch thing thing <coughs> And this is the machine here. Now I'm not, not sure how this works or if it's working, but we'll see. And I believe this is the adapter. Yeah. Adapter and instructions. Press button. I got it for $14.44. It's like a really good thrift store. I can always find a lot of good things. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out, see if this works and see if she will take to this. When I tried expressing it by hand or manually, she seemed okay. And right now she doesn't want to feed her puppies because their teeth have already come out. It's hurting her, her to feed the puppies and I remember pumping milk. It doesn't hurt at all. Actually, this is a lot fancier than what I had. I had the manual pump. I never had the electric one. This is amazing that I was able to find this. And of course, I will sterilize it and see what I will do. I'll probably redonate it. The machine is what's most valuable and these are replaceable. So just redonate it if it doesn't work out. Yes, so I'm gonna go ahead and figure this out and then I'm gonna bring Misty in here and try to pump milk so that I can continue with the weaning. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start giving them food once a day and just start increasing that little by little until I reach uh, four times a day. That's how I'm basically gonna do the, the introduction to food. I've hooked it up, I've sterilized it and cleaned it and whatnot. It's charged. I've only had it for about 30 minutes, just charging in a fully charged already. It was probably charged. Turning it on. Oh. Okay, so it works. Awesome. Okay, so I checked online and they do actually sell breast pumps for dogs. So this is a thing, apparently. And I haven't seen much videos on other people breast pumping their dogs. I've seen one of a lady breast pumping her nursing dog. So this isn't, you know, unheard of, but it's not very common. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. It's very quiet when I turned it on right now, so I don't think it's gonna scare her. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up. I'm gonna try to record it. I'm one-handed here, so, you know, I'll try to get some shots in. Good girl, Misty. Okay, so it's at one right now, and you can see it moving in there a little bit. That's cool, so let's see how we're gonna do this. Okay, let's try on this one here. Hold on, Misty. Hold on, Misty. Mm, so no milk is coming out. These cups here are kind of wide, kind of big for her. Let's see. Okay, so there's a little bit of milk coming out. I've turned it up to four now. Okay, we'll see if we get any milk. So I have to hold it with my foot here. Hold it with one hand. Really just calm her, rub her down with my other hand. 
getting a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of milk, but we'll see. Well, after 10 minutes of pumping, that's all I can get out. Um, I'm going to try manually, manually expressing and see. Okay, so by hand. So I've tried with the pump, I've tried manually expressing, but the the opening parts here are t is too wide for her. So I don't think it's gonna work. And she doesn't seem to mind it at all either. She just kind of lays down. And I was only able to get just a little bit amount. Um, that's not gonna do, that's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna have to do um, milk replacer. Yeah, that's that's where we're at now, unfortunately. It's not working, so I wish the puppies could have had same species milk, but instead we're gonna have to make do with what we've got. So I'm gonna give the puppies this little bit amount for now. Okay, so it is November 28th. Well, the puppies are officially five weeks now. I did try to pump milk from Misty, but that didn't work. So I just went ahead and bought just some puppy formula and also the second step one here for weaning the puppies. I mix some of that powder in water and that's what I'm using and then also grounded up puppy food. I'm just making like a gruel. It's called a gruel. gruel. That is what I'm feeding them. So I'm still in the transitioning phase. They still drink from Misty whenever she lets them but she is giving them less and less food. They're starting to get their molars out as well. So this is a perfect time for the transitioning to happen. So now today I am going to start feeding them twice a day now instead of once a day. So last week was once a day plus some extra form just to kind of give Misty that break. I noticed Misty's breasts are also lifting closer to her body so that is an indication that her milk is drying up. I'm cutting back on her feeding as well and that way it'll be easier on her body as well. She's looking a lot more skinny so this is a perfect time for the puppies to start their transitioning. It's almost one and it's about their time for lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them their milk. I do milk for their liquids three times a day and in the morning they would have their gruel and once at night. So let's go ahead and make some milk right now. Go ahead, put him down. Sure. Okay. 